Hi guys, this is Simeon and Tim from Swedish Homestead. Today we want to show you how you can file your saw and sharpen it in the forest when you're not in your workshop where you have all the nice equipment that you need to uh, fasten it and to file it up. So we made a video that many of you probably saw about how to sharpen a chainsaw and get it razor sharp. It's a very popular video right now. If you haven't seen it, check it out. We'll link it right here. But now we are in the forest. Um, this is our property here. It is very cold right now. It's a negative 10 Celsius. It was negative 20 last night. And uh, now we want to demonstrate to you a, a life hack or chainsaw life hack, whatever you might want to call it, a trick how you can fasten your chainsaw if you made it dull in a rock or some moss or whatever um, and my brother Tim is going to demonstrate this for us. So this technique really makes sense if you're thinning a piece of forest and you're staying around the same area then it's worth to make this uh, sort of stump to sharpen your saw and uh, it's really nice to have if you damaged your your uh, chain badly on a rock or something otherwise I think it's easiest to just hold it on your knee. So for this you need to find a tree that's got the right diameter it cannot be too skinny because it won't work as you'll see um, but of course we don't want to sacrifice too thick a tree unless you're using it for firewood and this one here has to be thinned anyways because it's way too dense in here we have to go through this hopefully this winter um, so this one is okay for us to just cut down I won't uh, do any harm is actually going to be good for the trees uh, around it and since we're going to use this for firewood it doesn't matter that we get a little short piece of wood it doesn't go to waste uh, at all Okay, so why don't you explain to us now what it is you have done here exactly? So I basically created sort of like a vise, like you have on your workbench, except uh, out of a tree stump in the forest. Um, as you could tell, my saw was uh, my chain was a little bit too aggressive for this frozen wood, um, but I think it turned out all right. So I cut it in a comfortable height to work in, which is uh, higher than the typical workbench. So that way you're closer to your chain, you don't have to bend over so much. And then, then we put our saw here, the saw bar, and pinch it with a wedge down here. So this way you now have the chainsaw just in the perfect position so you can sharpen your chain up and you know like you said this is not really necessary if you um, just need to sharpen it real quick but if you got into a rock or something else yeah. or if you want to do a really good job or something yeah yeah perfect well thank you for demonstrating
Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this really short video about how to do this and I hope you found this helpful. Um, make sure to subscribe for way more videos about forestry and homesteading and uh, check out our Facebook page as well. I am really glad that we have such a big group of people following us already and this is fun for us to do. So uh, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.